Hello, you delightful Sagittarius friends, cross watchers, watchers, subscribers, and new visitors. Welcome, welcome. We are here in a new year. I'm so excited about this year ahead. Blossoming is one of your energies coming in from spirit about your love life, Sagittarius. Look at this. Look at you. Waxing, given, give you a smoon. Will, look at that. You have the willpower. You're after something. It's like you're holding your hand over your mouth like, I have a secret. Something's growing, and I'm not going to tell anybody yet what that is. <laughs> you have a lot of willpower about this. You're very excited about whatever this is coming in for you. We have self-love. You're taking care of yourself. You are looking good, single, ready to mingle. You know, when you take care of yourself and you love yourself well, love flows more easily to you. So Sagittarius, I'm so excited to be here with you. Let's take a look and see the overall energy in your love reading. We'll check the bottom of the deck first. Okay, let's see what we have. Page of Pentacles, an offer, a small offer, maybe an invitation for coffee, maybe a chance to go out to a movie, maybe... You know, something small, just something very practical, down to earth. I like it. It's a good start. The energy between you and a love interest in the recent past is the judgment card. Okay, so for some of you, you should, you should or could have let something go. I don't know why. I don't usually say should. But the judgment card is making a decision. It's making a clear-cut decision. It's releasing that which doesn't serve you, whether it's an attitude, a person, a situation. But it is Scorpio energy. So it does speak to the fact that both of you made a decision in the recent past about the relationship. Oh, nice. <laughs> the current mutual energy is to let go of singlehood and to move into a, mere, a new blossoming relationship in which both of you have a lot of goodwill towards each other and you both are in a good emotional space in your life with that self-love card. How does your person view the situation with you? The Three of Swords, they view this as a heartbreaking situation. Oh, boy. We're going to clarify everything. How do they view you? Ah, Sagittarius, your person doesn't think you're all that interested. I'm getting you in the energy. Your person views you as, well, this will come to fruition when pigs fly. So we have to default now. Some of you may be getting a judgment of divorce. This is marriage. This is divorce. There could be third-party situation. It could just be heartbreak. Uh, but we get your person views you as someone who is non-committal because that's like when pigs fly. How does your person feel in their heart space? Nine of Cups, they adore you. They love you. They want to hug you and pet you and kiss you. They want to make love with you. They want to introduce you to all their friends. How do they view the situation between the two of you going forward? Ooh. Ten of Cups, they see you as their happily ever after. Pisces energy, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Three of Swords is Libra energy. So what I'm getting here is a very big possibility that, that there may be movement of breaking a one marriage apart to get married to someone else. You know, it's very it's several different storylines that I see already in the reading. So take what's yours and leave the rest like the buffet table. All right, what's hidden in the energy between the two of you? Hot, 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 ticky torches, starry nights, adventure, Sagittarius energy, excuse me, Aries energy, uh, really speaks to the fact that both of you love how you feel together, that, that you've chosen each other as a person you want to be with. So the judgment card, again, you may have been dating somebody who was getting a divorce already, but this divorce could be coming about because of a third party situation. And a karmic is being released, karmic energy, and a happily ever after energy, something soft and beautiful and gentle and kind and loving and exciting is here for the two of you. Spirit's advice is a moon card. There's not enough clarity in the relationship. The two of you are going to have to stop living so deeply in your emotions and sort of come up to the surface of the water and catch, catch your air. 
what's your outcome for short term? Ooh, nice energy, Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles energy for a relationship outcome means that it's stable, it's solid, it's Capricorn energy, that this is a relationship that can go the distance, that you're willing to do the work. The two of you are coming together in a very solid, consistent way. You both have big goals in terms of your life. And it shows me that you're very serious about this relationship and you're actually manifesting it in day-to-day -day life, doing the work, doing what's required, nurturing each other, loving one another. So let's take a look and see what the energies are that are going to clarify this. So let's look and see. We have blossoming. Let's look and see what is blossoming. Sagittarius. Well, that was just a really complicated beginning. <laughs> it's not that complicated, but you know what I mean. Okay, blossoming. We have justice. Justice and judgment in a reading oftentimes indicate the paperwork was filed, love blossomed, the judgment card is coming through, opening the way. Somebody has a great deal of willpower here. We have judgment card. Oh my God, that's crazy. Okay, so I think we've settled what the story is, is that there is a release of an old relationship with the judgment card quite official release, a judgment of divorce or dissolution of marriage is what it's called in the U.S. The judgment card or the justice card is doing the right thing, uh, karmically speaking, allowing love to blossom. Why do we have self-love here? The queen of wands. So there we go. That is also typically the queen that is the outsider in a relationship in a third party situation often will manifest as queen of wands energy fiery passionate you know really a go-getter aries energy so let's see what's going on here with the page of pentacles why is the page of pentacles the offer right now is one okay good i like it it's let's be practical let's go slowly and not bite off more than we can chew is the energy Let's invest in this relationship, planting seeds to manifest something more, something more uh, valuable to both of us. Be patient while the seedling grows. The judgment card is here. Oh, fire in your belly. Sagittarius, that's Leo energy. You may be dealing with a Leo, but we are seeing two people that, that may uh, be twin flames. When I get the infinity symbol, I see soulmates through many incarnations of your life, taming the beast. You're both very different, but the strength of your love is unstoppable. Why is the hair on here? Fire in your belly. Both of you want this. That's Taurus energy. Both of you really want this relationship. You have fire in your belly. You've gone the distance. You've had to fight hard for this relationship. You're in it to win it, and you're manifesting it. The Three of Swords energy, the Devil card. Well, the heartbreak is overwhelming is what I would see from your person, Sag. They feel bound to the situation. They feel like it's not ideal. Your person views the situation right now as being tethered to you in a way that they don't necessarily feel as healthy. Seven of Cups, they fantasize about you. Nine of Swords, they have remorse and regret over something they said or did. Eight of Wands, moving forward rapidly. I can read this two ways because there are two storylines. There's one situation in which you've gone through with the process of getting a divorce. There's another situation or a group out there that feels as though that's not going to happen and that there is not any moving forward for them. They have remorse and regret because they feel, for, for some of you, the storyline is not going to be this happily ever after ending. But for most of you, it looks like it, the Eight of Cups. So what we're seeing here is that for some of you, the rest of this is coming about because we have a Queen of Wands that walked away. Somebody who said, you know what, I don't want to be in the middle of heartbreak. I want happiness. I want to go from my Eight of Cups to my Nine of Cups and then to my Ten of Cups. So it does look like there is a walk away scenario here going on currently, or that will go on. It's nothing really harsh, it's just saying I wanna be happy. It really is all about just wanting to be happy, 
wanting to nourish your spirit with self-love. Why is the Page of Swords, or Page of Cups here, I'm sorry. The Page of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Coins. So what we see is that your person feels as though you've made an offer. The Ace of Coins is a good offer. It can even be a ring. It can be a promise. But you have made an offer, Sagittarius. And your person sees it as one that is very worthy of their attention. When pigs fly is what they originally thought. They didn't expect to get this offer from you. What else do we have? The King of Wands. The Sag. Oh, goodness. The King and Queen of Wands. We have a divine partnership here. Let's look and see why we have the Nine of Cups, why your person walked away to their happiness. Ace of Wands, they, this, you're dealing with somebody who may be a fire sign, but you're definitely dealing with someone who knows exactly what they need and want. They're willing to fight for it. They're willing to do the work for it. And we see a person who is not gonna be, they're, they're broken hearted. They would never do anything to hurt you, Sag, but they also know that they have to be happy for themselves. So the Ten of Cups, Hierophant Energy, okay. So we have the Hierophant here, okay. Hierophant's appeared twice. So Hierophant Energy is very traditional energy. It's the energy of having maybe some religious beliefs or beliefs that, you know, really impact the relationship. It looks as though you share those beliefs, though. That's what I'm getting. The Ten of Cups means the two of you couldn't be happier together, that when you are together that there's laughter, there's kindness, there's love, there's tradition, there's a sense of groundedness. When we get Taurus energy with Capricorn energy, very ter it's terrific for making something work. It's being willing to do the work, but you're very happy together. Why are you so happy together? <laughs> the chariot card. Oh, somebody's coming in fast here to make an offer, Sag. I think that your person could be the one to make the offer, but on the other hand, you might make an offer to them because you're in this energy over here. Why do we have the Three of Wands? Why are you choosing one another? Because that's what the card means. Page of Pentacles, nobody better. You may have known each other for a long time. You may have known each other through work, and it looks like you have a history together. Tell us more about the Page of Coins. Page of Cups. Page of Cups was here too. You're the Page of Cups. You might know each other from childhood with those pages, or you might also each have children from another marriage. So that looks like it's a very, very important part of what is going on in choosing each other. Pages so often show up in readings as children, especially when I get Judgment and Justice card. Why do we have the moon card here for you? We have the three of swords again. So spirit is telling you that this is, you know, the warning here is to clarify things so you don't suffer heartache. So come clean with your emotions, handle your emotions, be honest, do what you need to do to take care of yourself to show self-love. Ten of coins, okay. So spirit is saying that don't get caught in your emotions. Be very practical. Don't just lounge around with a broken heart. Take action. Go for your dreams. Make yourself happy. And Sagittarius, you want this absolutely legacy relationship. So you should honor that wish and take actions. Don't sort of get lost in your feelings. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is Leo energy. Again, we've had a lot of Leo energy in the reading. So it really speaks to the fact that this love is not going anywhere. I don't think you can really let each other go very easily. <clears throat> That's why I feel like the Judgment and Justice card are here. Three of Cups, celebrating life together. When we get the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups, we had a clarifier here, I believe. Yep, one of the clarifiers here says that Sagittarius, your person wants a ring. That's the only way they will deem the relationship successful. That at the end of the day, they do want you to be that king of wands energy. They want you to come swooping in. They want you to give them the love that, they, that you've celebrated together. Magician card, you're manifesting each other. 
So Sagittarius, I'm going to leave your reading there. It looks quite charming. It looks good. It doesn't look easy, but, you know, leave comments below. I am broadcasting from Chicago. I'd love to know where you're watching the video from. Thanks so much, Sag. Bye-bye.